Bernie Sanders hopes to follow up on last night's victory in Oregon with another West Coast win right here in California. And Donald Trump is reaching out to conservatives with a list of potential Supreme Court nominees. KTLA's John Finolio is live in the newsroom with more on the road to the White House. John? Mike, a Donald Trump Supreme Court list of potential nominees comes after he met with Republican House leadership last week. And while Trump and the GOP try to warm up to one another, now it's Democrats who find themselves deeply divided. Riding high after another victory in the West. We won Oregon last night. And a near victory in Kentucky, Bernie Sanders is banking on California to turn the Democratic race in his favor. It will be the most important primary in the whole nominating process because 475 delegates are up. With your help, we are going to win here in California on June 7th. But Hillary Clinton holds a commanding delegate lead, now just 88 shy of the number needed to clinch the nomination. Sanders needs almost 10 times that amount, more than are available in the final nine contests. Sanders is frustrated with party leaders, in particular, Chairwoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, who he believes is tipping the race in Clinton's favor. Before we will have the opportunity to defeat Donald Trump, we're going to have to defeat Secretary Clinton. Now, some Democratic Party leaders are blaming Sanders for dividing the party and are calling on him to rein in his supporters. I worry about what it does to the electorate as a whole. And he should, too. This as Donald Trump continues to warm up to skeptical Republicans. Today, meeting with former Secretary of State Henry Kissinger, the former top official to President Nixon and an expert on international affairs, had expressed concern over Trump's proposed ban on Muslims. And in an unprecedented move, the New York billionaire releasing a list of 11 potential Supreme Court justices to fill the vacancy of the late Antonin Scalia. I'm going to put in the right judges, OK? I'm going to put in great conservative judges. The presumptive GOP nominee also saying in an interview with Reuters that he's open to talking with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, a move that would break with decades of bipartisan foreign policy and a suggestion that comes as diplomatic tensions escalate over the rogue nation's stepped-up nuclear and missile tests. And another signal Trump is willing to play ball with his party, he's joining forces with the GOP to raise money for Republicans at all levels. Party members are also responding positively to his Supreme Court shortlist. Reporting live in the newsroom, I'm John Finolio. Back to you in the studio. John, thank you.